Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Well, let's stand together. Please, if you can, let's all stand together. I want to read a, a couple of verses from Psalm 118. It begins like this. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Someone say amen. amen. For His mercies endure forever. And then in verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I think, you know, sometimes it's great to start with a statement, to make a deliberate stand and position ourselves how we mean to continue. Always start how you mean to continue in life. So why don't we start with a big clap and a shout and a praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give Him all of our praise this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, we love You. We praise You. We dedicate our lives and we dedicate this meeting to You in Jesus' name. Thank you, worship team.
shout the name of Jesus and lift up a shout in here. Come on, let's shout the name of Jesus. Let's lift his name up. Let's put his name over every other name. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, praise you. Guys, there's something very powerful happening right now. There's a very, very powerful moment in the Holy Spirit this morning where we are. And I, I want to just, I want you to stay right where you are. Please don't sit down. Please don't turn the worship switch off. Keep very, very much alert in the Holy Spirit right now. And I want to read this well-known scripture from Psalm 91. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes will you look and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the Lord who is my refuge even the most high your dwelling place no evil shall be for you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling now guys listen we live in a fallen world and a broken world the word of God says that I am the Lord that heals you the word of God says that he has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. But I also walk in the reality that I'm surrounded by sickness and disease and death and fear and anxiety. And sometimes we can't make sense of that gap. And it's at those times we have to lean in to the name of Jesus. We have to really like lean on Him. We have to acknowledge that we're pulled in two directions and that's okay. You know, the promises of God are yes in Christ Jesus. And I say the amen. Even while I may be coughing and spluttering and dragging my body out of bed or caring for a loved one who is sick. And it, and it causes me this dilemma. What's the answer? to proclaim and lean into the name of Jesus, to do what we've been doing this morning, to make a stand on the greater reality of heaven. I refuse, I refuse to surrender the promises of God for what, for what I'm feeling or seeing around me. I absolutely refuse. I I'm going to be defined by the goodness of God, the love of God, the name of Jesus, the promises of God. And I want you to know that the Lord is here with compassion because there is a lot of stuff going on right now in our families, in our own bodies, in our loved ones. And today there's something so powerful in our worship. And I'm saying this as much to you watching at home. We want to make a stand right now. We want, to, we want to really shout the name of Jesus from the mountaintop and really proclaim and lean into His presence and make a stand for our healing and our health and our loved ones and for freedom and deliverance from anxiety and loneliness and COVID and sickness. Amen. So we are going to just smash this thing today. We are going to smash it. We are the people of God. We're the people of God. So look, if you need to make a stand for your own body today, if there's someone that you need to see healing for or freedom for in your own family, a loved one, wife, husband, child, mother, father, someone, I want you to just come down the front you can wear your mask, that's okay, whatever you need to do. But come down the front and say, I am making a stand on the promises of God today for my health and for my loved ones. And if you're watching this at home, I'm asking you to physically stand up. 
physically stand up from your seat right now and we're going to go back into this refrain shout it from the mountaintops we're going to pick it up right there and we're going to proclaim the name of jesus is higher and greater and mightier and more powerful than any other name than cancer covid colds or any other thing christ is the big c not cancer or covid Christ is the big C. Amen. Let's sing it again and let's make us stand. Amen. Thank you. Shout it from the mountain top. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Amen. Amen. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. 